Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mavis here with you and we're on the ground fox server today and I have a little bit more progress <laughs> on our little village here and I've got some plans for an idea for a build today. So we're going to work on that. Um, first, let's check out what I've gotten done so far. Um, we've got two houses here now, two little shops. Um, this one, let me look at my notes again. One of these is going to be a weaponsmith, and then the other one is going to be the toolsmith. Uh, I haven't really decided which one's which yet. Um, I'm just happy the builds are done, to be honest. So let's just take a look. There, I haven't done anything with the interiors yet on these builds. I'm kind of wanting to get just some buildings up. Um, I've got inspiration for that part. Uh, the decorating part will come later, but I like the inside of this. Um, I don't know what I want to do with the ceiling, but we'll, we'll figure all that out when we're actually building things. We might drop it down, uh, make it a whole block there. I don't know. I don't want to think about that right now. I want, I want to get on with my, my building. Um, this one over here, um, I'm kind of falling away from going with an all clay village. Um, this one kind of broke that for me. Uh, I didn't use any clay except on the inside on the floor. Let's look inside here. Um, but that's okay. I don't, I don't know. I have other ideas and it'll all work out. So some of them are clay and that'll, that'll work too. Um, we've got a spot here for our armor and it'll probably be back, back there a little bit off the beaten path here. And then our Fletcher will be either up on top or built into this little hill right here. So we'll see how that goes. But what I have planned today is to work on this next build right here, which is going to be the Butcher. So let's, uh, I got a chest over here, but actually I think I want to do something like this. Take a screenshot. Okay, just a before and after type picture so we can see what it looks like, maybe. Um, these are the ideas of what I want to build this out of. And I do have a picture that I'm going to be looking at uh, that has given me a little bit of inspiration. Got to find it. Okay. The picture I'm looking at is mostly made of stone. And then on the inside, I want to incorporate some brick because I kind of make that would kind of make it feel like uh, a butcher shop sort of maybe, hopefully. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I wanted to do like bricks or cobble. We've got a brick, brick guys over there. And if I had to guess, we're thinking, you know, back in the day when there are little shops like this and, um, I would think that a weaponsmith and a toolsmith would probably be more uh, wealthy than a butcher. So maybe we should go with cheaper materials like the cobble. So let's get this stuff out of here. Maybe we'll use the stone for the flooring on the inside. And I have gravel on me. I don't need it right at the moment. I plan on using that to do um, some paths and roads and things through here, but I keep forgetting to take it out of my inventory. So we'll keep the cobble. Um, and I'm thinking I want to use oak wood, but I might go spruce. So let's grab that real quick. I really enjoy a dark wood with stone. I think that looks nice. Please be spruce. Yay, spruce. Okay. Um... It kind of sucks. I have a lot of my um, um, resources and stuff over in that shop and over here now too. So I'm a little bit spread out and it kind of sucks. But we'll manage. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to do classic wood pillar corners. Three, four, five. We might take that back down one. Yeah, I kind of want to keep this place a little bit cozy. It doesn't need to be ginormous. So four tall. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three, four. Okay. Might even come down a little bit more than that. 
Um, so what my idea is, what the plan is, two, three, four, is have this be the store, the shop that you come in, and then this is going to be the area where we'll keep a couple animals, because uh, he's a butcher. That's what he does. <laughs> um, do we want to make this also? Hmm. Probably keep it symmetrical. Two, three, four. Okay. And one here as well. And then I don't know how I want to do the ceiling. Or connect these at the top. Probably be best to do wood as well. Oops. And I think this is how a couple of my builds have started out and then I've ended up changing them. But we'll go with this for now. And... Hmm. Should we leave the front? Perhaps. Okay, where do we want to put the door? Probably in the center. And I need a crafting bench. Perfect. Just enough. I bet I have a stack of, of crafting benches somewhere. Probably at the main house over that way. I have a really bad habit of just making new ones. <laughs> um, so... One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. We might end up making this longer. We'll see. This might be enough space though. Three, four. And then we'll go ahead and do cobble across the top. might be too tall but we can fix that with a roof maybe we can bring it down a little bit okay and then I wonder if I have any fence gates anywhere oh well we'll just go ahead and make one oops hold on Gotta do the sticks first. Come on. There we go. And where do we want it? Let's go here, perhaps. And then on either side, we'll do this. And then all we need to do is get some animals in here. I actually saw a chicken earlier spawn down there, but it looks like he's gone now. And we do have pigs and cows over at the other house, but I really need to get a bridge in that place because from here to there, because it's annoying to have to purl over every time and stuff. part's going to be done. We'll probably have to come back in and put grass in here. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I'll probably put a sheep in here as well just to have it for wool because I think I can't remember what the actual butcher sold now. I don't I think I have that written down anywhere. No, there was one of them that sold um, wool. Was it the leather guy? I can't remember. I'll have to check that out because now I'm I'm curious. I can't remember. Uh, let's put torches there. Uh, how big is this area? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So four, a torch there. Hmm. This is even. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that sucks. So we'll do the one there and one there. And one on in the inside. And then I'll probably put some sort of either a door here to get out. Okay. Or <laughs> he's waiting on ice to freeze. That sounds like a fun job. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'll probably put a door here or a fence or um what was it? What's that thing? <laughs> um hatch door, big trap door. Yeah, that. Uh, cuz I like that kind of door. And I feel like that would be appropriate there too to be able to go in and out and stuff. Hmm. Well, we have space for windows here. This might be a windowless storefront. Um. Or we could do one here. I like how they have it in the picture, and I think I might actually go with that. Let's get a couple things in place here. So, and what we can do is, we might have to bring this door down one. It might be too high. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, because the roof comes down and it's a wooden roof, but what color do we want to go with? Probably stick with the dark wood. I don't have much of that on me, unfortunately. Come on. Rut row raggy. <laughs> uh, give me just a second, guys. Holy crap, I'm still here. <laughs> That's so bizarre. Hey, Mavis. <laughs> I got a picture of it. That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if I'm here yet. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> that was so cool. He's AFK. I want to sleep. Dang it. Um. Okay. We need a door. We need walls. <laughs> I mean, a door is not going to keep out the bad guys. Uh, let's do... Oh, not that. <laughs> we need a door. I feel like I'm gonna get murdered. My face is gonna be murdered off. So we'll do a piece of glass there. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> um, and just to be safe at the moment, let's just get some walls on here. We'll go back and do windows later. Yeah, our build's pretty much done. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I suppose something could come through here and murder me as well. Oops. And then need some torches in here. So yeah, we had another epic snowstorm. <laughs> not Not super epic, I guess. In the, you know, grand scheme of things, this this snow compared to some of the other snows we've had this year, I don't know. I guess I'm maybe just used to it now and it doesn't really stun me anymore. <laughs> uh, we had another like eight inches of snow last night and today. So that was fun. <laughs> I'm so over this winter. I'm tired of shoveling my driveway. Oh, and yeah, I heard we're supposed to have more snow this weekend. So woohoo. <sighs> I want to play with the roof. See what we can do with that before 
because I might bring this this down one but maybe not maybe this will just be the inside of the, the house maybe yeah that sounds like a good idea and I want to go with the dark wood and it seems like every roof that I make they're so big like you can put actually let me show you up in this house over here that was great English up in this house <laughs> I'm gangsta um, up here it has no wool on me which is what I've been using lately to climb around and do things see yeah I could use this as a storage area and do I have any chests on me no I could even maybe put chests here because I think these are all stairs so you can put chests, oops, chests here and then they'll still open because this doesn't count as a whole block, I guess. I could be wrong. It could just be half slabs, but I think it's stairs as well. Um, so I could put like a ladder up against the wall here and kind of have the attic as a storage area to keep other goods and tools and things. Kind of like what I did at the farmhouse. Um but keep chests up there in storage and stuff. So we'll see about that. I don't understand why all my roofs have to be ginormous. Okay. So yeah, we've got a little place here already. Uh, let's get a, nope, let's get a thingy. I hate to use this wood because I want to use it for other stuff, but oops, I already have a whole stack there. Why didn't you guys tell me? Okay. This way we could have a little door here for people to be able to come outside and inspect. Yeah, this needs to come down one so things can't get in here. I'm afraid that they would A, be able to shoot me and my livestock and spiders can jump in here. We might have that problem regardless of bringing it down, but so we'll have a little, hmm. Do I want to keep it stone here or should we do kind of like wood? Because you can't really like stone wood would fall in, cave in, that, that type of thing. So it's not really a sturdy material to put a gate up against. Shoo. Maybe we'll switch these out. Do we want to do like that? Oh, and it's on the upper part of it. I can change that, can't I? I can make it lower, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. That makes a little more sense, I think. And it breaks up all the cobble, too. So, yeah, I think we'll keep it like that. Um, and then maybe we will be able to have... Uh-oh. I hear something. It's coming for us. Where? I do not see it. Where? Hello? Zombie? Really? Oh, I see him. Come here. Come here. Oh, I think I haven't shown you guys my new tools. Let's get in here real quick so nothing tries to chew on our face. Uh, I was, what was I even doing? I don't even know what I was doing with Mukaki, but we were out, we were hanging around doing some stuff and I think I was moving sand back from, bringing sand back over here to make into glass and do stuff with from my desert house. I was out there farming stuff and it was the first time I ever made um, a chest inside of a cart. And then I put a furnace in there and powered it so it would go. First time I'd ever done that. And I was bringing it back on our, our rail system. And he came to the tunnel and was making sure, like, helping me. I think my cart ran out of iron or something crazy happened. Something malfunctioned, as always. So he came to help me and somehow knocked me out of my cart. And I fell through our tunnel because there was nothing underneath of us and died. 
And luckily he was standing right there. So he was able to get down and get um, to my things. But of course, all of my important things weren't there. So um, I, Moj has actually started a, is he still here? No. He started a, he's gonna, gonna build a, a shop and he's gonna do, sell books there. And he's been spending a ton of time at the Ender Ender grinding Endermen and uh, enchanting books. And he's got them for sale right now. So there he is. And so I went over there and actually Mukaki was really sweet and gave me a Silk Touch pick because I lost mine in the fall. And what else did I lose? Did I lose my bow? I can't remember. I lost a couple really good things and was very sad, but that happens it tends to happen a lot with him <laughs> i die and lose all my shit so um he gave me a silk touch pick that he had that was um getting pretty close to dying so i went and i repaired it and i was just gonna give it back to him because i because i bought a silk touch pick from or book from moj but he wouldn't take it back so i've uh named it moose death pick because he gave it to me in lieu of my dying and hopefully I won't ever carry this with me um, when I'm with him <laughs> next next time so I don't die and lose it. But that way I'll always remember. So then I, I got my Silk Touch book and named this the Pick of Destiny. Um, and then I bought... What was I doing? I think I was... We were all just kind of hanging out at the Ender Farm one day. And Moj was there and he... I was telling him about my losses and he said that he would make me a good deal and he would put these, um, put some stuff together for me and, okay, it was the, did I lose my bow? I can't remember, but he made me a pick, uh, put this together for me. It was the specifications that I wanted. I wanted a sharpness five, I'm breaking three and I wanted him to name it. So he named it, oh no's, it's the nine thirties <laughs> because I'm Mavis nine thirty. And then he made me a bow, and these were all of the items I wanted on it. Uh, Unbreaking 3, Infinity 1, Power 5. Did I say power? Sharpness 5 or 4? I don't know. I always say 4, and it's a 5. That's a Roman numeral for a 5, Mavis. So I got the bow as well, and it looks awesome. Uh, good stuff here. And then I just have a work pick as well. I think I might have lost a work pick, too. My Silk Touch, a work pick... And maybe that was it. I can't remember. I should have been recording. I wish I was because something always bad happens when I'm doing stuff. That makes me sad because I want to buy all of his unbreaking stuff. Well, guys, I've been recording for quite a while, I believe. And I'm probably I'm not being very, very productive on camera today. This is pretty productive. We got quite a bit done here, um, but let me work my magic and um, I will show you guys next time what we accomplish. But if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, anything, definitely let me know. If you like this, let me know that as well. Um, definitely leave a like on the video. That will let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, but... I'll keep working and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.